Dr. Shika Square is back for another powerful monthly discussion on life and how to take control of what you want. She is the author of 21 Day Word Revolution, Stop Living the Life You Hate and Start Living the Life of Your Dreams. Also, the affirmation, power, healing, and purpose. Dr. Square is an executive strategist, certified business coach, author, and a professional empowerment speaker with over 12 years of experience in leadership administration, in leadership administration and business. And you know it's always my pleasure to welcome you, Dr. Square. I'm ready to jump in. Ready, me too. We have been having a series of discussions on great, great areas that people, of course, need mm -hmm. because we are yet now, we're in the month of May, mm -hmm. but we have, from January, been talking about the uh, going beyond New Year's resolutions yes, yes, and yes, really yes. incorporating what needs to happen in your life all the time so that you see the results that like you that. say mm -hmm. people can have. Yes, all the time. Mm -hmm. See, I, that wasn't even my words, all the time. So it's important to remember that once something starts to work or you see minor changes, to keep at it. Or if something, there's a little tweak that happens, keep at it. And a lot of people will kind of stop. So they'll lose 10 pounds and they'll be like, okay, I'm good. And they go back to eating Popeyes. No, you know, if you eat Popeyes, that's your thing. You no hating. But however, if you see the progress, you have to keep at it. You may not have to, you know, eat salads for the rest of your life. But keep doing something that will keep giving you the progress and the growth that you want. And a lot of times I see people quit and it's so frustrating. And you're like, wait, we... It was going so well. What are you doing? Well, you know, I mean, I, I was feeling good. It was, like the antibiotic was working. Right. You know, it worked. I felt better. No, no, you got to finish the antibiotics. So I want people to realize that once you get from routine and you commit and you see the success, keep repeating the process and it will blow your mind. Well, you know, a couple of things come to mind that say, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Right. But it must be broken if something new had to happen <laughs> to try something. And, right. Keep with the new. Pro right. Keep with the new process. And so one of the. Something that's frustrating for me is that when people think that they'll see my clients become successful, or they'll see some of the success that I'm having, and they assume that it's something that happened overnight. And it's not. It's not. It's not. Even in my personal life, there is a whole level of growth and study that goes into that. I meditate daily, sometimes several times a day, in order to be at my best. Because I realize, oh, wait, when I meditate, I'm not flipping people off in traffic. It must work, you know. <laughs> when I right, if I eat a salad, I could work. I could work out, and then I feel better. You know, if I do this, then I don't do that. There must be something to this, and so it's frustrating when people will ask, "Well, what to do?" And I say, "Well, do this and this and this, and then keep doing it, and then keep doing it, mm -hmm. and then do it some more, and then that's when you lose people. Mm -hmm. That that part of the routine." that requires true commitment that you have to keep repeating it is where you lose people. Yeah, a lot of times I believe we look for the excitement in what we're doing and we want the bells and whistles and the fireworks and when those are gone, it makes maybe somebody think that uh, something's not working anymore. It's not as great as it was when it first started, but these are the habits that you say we must, uh, that must become a part of our lives every day because we, we eat every day, we, we, we do hygiene every Brush day. Your we go to work every day. Right. So these are the things that may not have bells and whistles, but they're necessary for our lives to be productive. You, once you, you're on it. I mean, you're so on it. You're, you're striking. Mm -hmm. So, yes. So it's, it's exciting when people see the outcome. Many people don't want to dedicate the time. And so instead of me talking about what people don't want to do, because I want people to know how to do it, mm -hmm. it's important that you... Pay attention to the process. Keep your head down at some point. And what I mean by that is be willing to work when other people are willing to quit. And so whether that's starting a new business, whether that is starting a new relationship, whether that is, you know, losing weight, gaining weight, working out, being a better parent. I've dealt with all of those. There's a point in every situation, if it is going to get to success, where you have to put your head down. And you have to go at it when it doesn't scream, oh my God, this is so exciting. You're not going to feel that all the time. Keep your head down, stick to it, and then at the end, you will see results. And that, I mean, that's just the way it is. 
That's the process. Mm -hmm. Well, the doctor is in the house, everybody, and she is telling us about those necessary steps, those changes mm -hmm. that are going to show the results. Mm -hmm. But it's important to maintain those changes. Maintain it. I, I like for a momentum to happen with some of my clients. Mm -hmm. Well, with all of my clients, actually. Mm -hmm. Some of them I have to hit with a stick a few times. However, a lot of my clients, especially people I've been working with for a while, understand the power of momentum. Once we get it rolling, it's a lot easier to see growth and success once it's already rolling and you keep it rolling. It's a lot harder for you to start the ball, and that's why people don't start, but we've already talked about that. But once you already see success in anything you're doing, if you keep at it and you push at it, whatever it is, it has to work. That's just my philosophy. It ha If you put in the time, you put in the effort, you're putting in the dollars, and you are constantly learning along the way, something has to work. Absolutely, I agree. And, of course, Dr. Sheikah Square is the author of 21 Day Word Revolution, mm -hmm. and she's got the book, The Affirmation. Those books have been life-changing, not only for mm -hmm. you, but for those who pick up on those books. They learn the skills. They see the steps. Yes. They're able to apply those uh, uh, the information that you have in those books to their lives and to right. what they want to see change about. Yes. Now, remind everyone, as we've gone through this series, we've talked about, what was the first one we talked about? Um, Routine. Routines. Routines. Mm -hmm. And how important that is. And then we went to... Commitment. Went to commitment. Then and after commitment, we have to Success. Have, well, we want success. Right. right? That's the process. So yeah. if you started a new routine, you committed to the routine, you saw success, now just stick with it. Just stick with it. And sometimes it's so easy to shut it off. Mm -hmm. And I know for me, like, I've, I've been learning so many new things about myself, some of which I was like, oh, I don't want to know that. You know, I don't want to know that. However, I realized it all works together. And I was learning all of these things about myself that I really didn't know were in there, some of which were very sad. But, you know, I was like, oh, my God. Mm -hmm. However, what I understood was it was a part of the process. So I was committing to growing and bettering myself, and in that commitment, I have to be ready to see things that I may not necessarily want to see. Mm -hmm. But still committing, still, the magic word, still committing to the process and the growth, not just for me, but for everybody around me. So what if I was willing to just be like, ah, this is good enough. I mean, everybody who is working with me and depending on me would then lose as well. So sticking to the process, finding a routine that works for you. It doesn't have to be what works for me, but what works for you. Commit to it and then also commit that no matter what, I will see this through. And I will stick with this. And it does something for your entire life. It does. And for those that have started and stopped and now they're listening and they're ready to pick it back up again, how long does it take a habit to actually stick? So there's different schools of thoughts on that. There's one school of thought that says 21 days. That's why there's a book called 21 Day Word Revolution. Right there's another school of thought that says 30 days. And so I, I believe that if you start something and you stick with it for approximately 21 days and then move past 21 days into 45 days and you do it on a regular basis and find joy in it, it transforms your mind. And so that's the biggest thing. And even if you shift the routine a bit later, that reprogramming that you did to your mind will always be there. So let's say you say an affirmation for 30 days one affirmation you pick one you don't want to go through the trouble of doing a new and everything one speaks to you mm -hmm. and you pick one one that i still say and i've been saying this for a long time i am enough so let's say every day you say i am enough at some point when after the 30 to 45 day mark when you are doing negative self-talk what will happen is i'm enough will come up and instead of you getting down for maybe four weeks, you might have four days because you'll keep hearing, I am enough. Wait a minute, I am enough. And so that's what that, that sticking to and repeating the process does. It reprograms your mind. And I talk about that because it's serious. And it'll play in place of all of the negative self-talk and the disbelief that we've carried around our entire life. And instead of feeling like you are worthless, then what will happen is you'll hear that affirmation that you've repeated to yourself over and over tell you, wait a minute, no, I am enough. I don't have to stay in this desperate situation because I am enough. I don't have to give up things that I love because I am enough. I don't have to battle with this addiction or this way of living for the rest of my life because I am enough. And that's what it does. And so reprogramming, reprogramming your mind with the routine and commitment, that's what it does. 
Yeah, I love that because it really helps everyone who wants to make a change focus on where that change needs to happen. Right. Because most of life, we're pleasing other people. Uh -huh. We're taking care of other people or we're doing something that meets somebody else's agenda. Oh, yeah, so right. now, <laughs> right. it's, it's time to turn it around and put I in there. This is the time to be selfish. This is, and so... It Many people think of it as selfish, and if that's how we have to think about it, fine. But you cannot love anybody else if you have no idea how to love yourself. I couldn't be, I used to be a pretty mediocre parent until I started to pour into myself at best. I probably wasn't that good. I was, I probably was a pretty okay entrepreneur until I flipped the script. One of the things that helped my business take off is when I stopped focusing on my own business. And I said, you know what, because this is a struggle for real. And I have this skill set, so what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to just pour into my clients. And I'm going to set my goals for their business and how much revenue I want to see in their businesses. That's when I started to take off because I started being concerned with helping other people. But see, this is the thing. I don't want people to get confused. It was selfless for me to do that, but I was doing that as a, a way of not focusing so much attention on what wasn't working. Mm -hmm. And then also in that understanding that I was giving out of fullness, I had gathered all of this information, all of this knowledge, all of this skill, but I wasn't using it. And so I could only give them as I had to give. So I continued to meditate. I continued to study. I have multiple degrees and I still put myself in school. Mm -hmm. Like it's an ongoing process. And so that is really important for people to understand is that in order to take care of your family, in order to take care of your finances, in order to take care of your business or be in business, you must learn to love and appreciate yourself on many different levels. You know, there is such a benefit uh, in many ways in giving mm -hmm. that you can't eat the entire pot of gumbo. You know, You've got to give some But way. you got to have gumbo to eat. So you do start with yourself. Yes, and that's the thing. You got In order for you to give gumbo, you had to first have gumbo, and for you to know how it tastes to give it away, you had to eat some. And that's why you had to give what was in you away. Yes, you I have to be it. full first. I love it. It is a selfless even though the word selfish mm -hmm. comes up, but it is a selfless act to, to give. love yourself. Yeah. It's a selfless act to love yourself. Mm -hmm. And out of fullness comes selflessness because then I have to give to you if I first feed myself, if I first love myself, if I first pour into myself, then I'm not giving you with resentment. I'm not giving you out of lack. I'm not giving you a half, you know, mm -hmm. expectation. I'm giving to you because I have it to give. And you have planted many seeds, so when that seed is planted, that harvest is oh full. yes, it's plenty. Yes. and you can't possibly just have it all to yourself. There's no so reason it, to. You have to share, and I, I I love sharing. Well, you do that all mm -hmm. the time with us, mm -hmm. and it is wonderful. Now, what's up on your calendar lately? Well, I have a few events coming up. We're pinning down the dates. We're going to do some awesome retreats for our people in business. We have all kind of great stuff coming up. Um, we're still doing financial um, seminars. I've got together with a group of ladies, and we're talking about how to build business, keep staying in business, build your personal finances. And so we'll restart those as well. And then we are still building businesses. So you have questions for me and you want to understand how to take yourself, your business to the next level, then reach out. I'm on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and it's all the same at Dr. Sheikah Square. And so that's what it is. And that's what happens when you have growth. Right. You Look, I'm more everywhere. More places than you Right, grow. right, right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I love it. It's always fun and a blessing and wisdom to have you here. Mm -hmm. And we have been filled today. And I know that everybody's ready to jump back on the wagon mm -hmm. and move forward. So we want to focus on momentum. Yes. Focus on selflessness. In, in the fact that we are focusing on how to give. Mm -hmm. And that giving becomes more plentiful. Mm. And then out of all of that, your main thought is that we have to have those habits that are consistent. Habits that are consistent so that you will have something to give. I cannot stress that enough. It is important to give, but make sure you have something to give. And it's coming from a place of fullness. Love it. Mm. Dr. Sheikha Square, author of 21 Day Word Revolution. Stop living the life you hate and start living the life of your dreams. You can also pick up the affirmation. 
Power, Healing, Purpose. Dr. Square, we're ready. I'm excited. Thank you. Oh, girl, you 